It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of December. At any time in December, I am going to do weeklies for December as well, but this is for any time in December. It's just a December monthly reading, so we're just going to see whatever I can get for you. Let's just see what comes up for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for at any time in December. And stay tuned for the weeklies. All right. So what do we have for Aquarius? One card, please. Whoop. Well, we don't want a big pile. Oh, nice. Heartache and loss. Heartache. That's the Three of Swords. So... I'm not sure what is going on, but that's where it flipped. That's where the pile flipped, and that was the end. So anyway, this is the card. So three of swords. So that is heartache and loss. It's painful separation of some sort, feeling hurt, feeling, you know, this is sorrow. This is this is some sort of sadness. So you may be experiencing some sadness at some point this month. Um, see if we can get that to uh, clear up. There we go. Looks pretty sad. Somebody's, you know, suffering. Down. Very, very down. There's some sort of sad situation here uh, that is going down. Um, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, grieving. Not happy. Somebody's not happy. Keep in mind these readings can go vice versa. So we got somebody here that is grieving over a loss. And I'm not sure what the loss is, but I'm sure that you do. So this is definitely not easy. So what do we have for Aquarius? Ten of Cups. Now, Ten of Cups or Tens are typically completions. So I don't know if this is the end of a relationship. I wonder if it has to do with a sibling. I don't know why I want to say that, but I do. Um, because it's having this. I feel like there's memories with a sibling here. Um, anyhow. Um, now this Ten of Cups is peace, peace because of that rainbow. The storm is over. Yes, there's some sort of pain, but there is there is brighter days ahead, put it that way. There's a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. There's something coming that is really, really good. So the worst is over. Yes, there's some heartache and loss, but happiness is right around the corner. Okay, so... There is. There's there's good there's good. There's a lot of happiness that is coming for you. You've been through some sort of stormy situation and I but I feel like it's I feel like it's over. Whatever the situation is, I feel like it's over. I do feel like there's gonna be a lot of memories here. You're gonna be feeling some sort of memories. I'm not sure if it's a brother or a sister or, and I just got chills, so I'm not sure what is going on, but um Definitely some sort of sadness over over a loss. And I feel like it's a family situation. I do. I feel like it's a family. Because the Ten of Cups is typically about family. Could be a mate as well, but I don't know. I don't feel like it, it could be. But um, it feels like somebody isn't paying attention as well. They're not paying attention and, you know, they don't see it coming. Anyhow, um, great happiness is, is to be had, though, with that Ten of Cups. That's fulfillment. That's, that's, that's uh, the spiritual blessing of some sort. So there's, there's a loss. There's a painful loss that leads to... A spiritual blessing. I know you guys are probably asking, well, how can that be? 
everything happens for a reason. You, 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 you learn from loss. Okay, you learn from loss and it changes you. It builds your character. And I know that from experience. Yes, heartache and loss changes a person. And, and at the beginning stages of grief, it hurts really bad. But by the time you get to the end of the grieving process, you've, you've changed. You've learned something. You've, you've uh, realized something. You have. And I know that because I, I've, I've, buried, I've buried a child and a, and a boyfriend on the same day. So I, I know that loss, heartache and loss, you know, uh, can make you realize, count your blessings, okay? Can make you realize not to take things for granted. So it changes you and, and, and it sucks, but it makes you a better person. So anyway... One more card for Aquarius. I think that you're going to be going through something painful, but there is some sort of blessing that comes out of it. And yes, it's true. Peace comes out of it. There's some sort of peaceful resolution that comes out of it. I know that it's peace. Ooh, woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman. Key, successful outcome to your problem. So there will be a successful outcome. Yes, there's some suffering here, but you're going to handle it just fine. There is dealings with a woman here. And maybe that's what the heartache and loss is over. I'm not sure. And maybe that's you. That could be your energy. You could be that woman that is suffering, that is in some sort of pain. I feel like it does have to do with a family situation. Now, there could also be a home because I keep looking at this home and we have this key. So I'm wondering if somebody is, is, is uh, moving home, changing homes, buying a home. One fell out. We gotta take it. Queen of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles. She has a golden opportunity in her hand. Okay, so whether that's you or somebody that you're dealing with, that is somebody who has uh, something solid, stable, secure to offer. This is somebody who is very abundant, very down to earth, very laid back, uh, and very generous. So you may be dealing with this person, or you may be taking on this energy. That is somebody that is holding on to their stability. They are stable, they are secure, and they don't have anything to worry about. Um, very, very grounded. This person has a stable opportunity. She has, or he or she, has something solid. Something very valuable. Very, very valuable. So, hmm. Full reversed. Six of Cups reversed. So I'm, I'm not sure if we have something to do with children here. We may have something to do with children. I don't know if there's some sort of uh, freedom from obligation as well. I don't know if somebody does something stupid and they and there's something to do with children. I wonder if children go home or they go to live with somebody else. I don't know if that's the case. If somebody is, you know, there's something to do with it. It could be a change in the home front for the children. I'm not sure if that's the case for you. There could be children that are causing, I'm not saying this to be mean or anything, that are causing problems with a relationship and somebody is leaving because of the children. You know, whatever the case is, there's, there's something to do with children here. Um, somebody has money. And I feel like they're stable, they're solid, so they're secure. Some I don't know if there's kids going home. I don't know if that's the case. I'm gonna change try to change the subject, but there's releasing the past or and there's freedom from obligation and uh packing up and leaving home. In this case, I feel like it's children, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a mother or a father, it could be a family even. Somebody may be leaving home. 
um, spur of the moment, very, very sudden. It could be a sudden change of some sort, You're totally unprepared. Somebody may be unprepared um, for a departure of some sort. Um, there is definitely a woman here. I don't know if it's a professional or somebody that they could somebody could have even involved a lawyer or something. Um, I feel like there's going to be a change on the home front, just so you know. Um, now that fool card reversed is unprepared, unfinished business going back. Somebody, I feel like somebody is going back. They're going back somewhere. Um, unable to move forward. I think you're dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Perhaps now we got the ten of cups reversed, and I read, then we get the seven of pentacles on the bottom. So I feel like we definitely have a relocation. Somebody is thinking about it. They're planning right now. They may be planting some seeds, or they planted some seeds a long time ago, and now they're coming to fruition. There's there's some sort of children leaving home, family leaving home, somebody leaving a home. That's what I feel like we got here. Moving away. Um, Somebody may have done something stupid. They may have done something foolish. And it feels like we have an, another person that isn't very happy with another person's actions. I'm not sure if there's some sort of surprise that is coming. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the tower. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but it doesn't look... It, it looks like nothing stays the same and you are about to experience a change. Okay, you may be freed from some sort of obligation, and it, I'm not sure if you're dealing with a woman that is is uh, foolish, or it doesn't have to be a woman. Maybe a man or a woman, but it is somebody that you know doesn't want to something to do with their children, something to do with their children, leave their children behind, or something like that. Um, successful outcome to your problems. There is, this is a blessing. This loss is actually a blessing. And it, and I'm not saying that, I don't mean, I don't think anybody's, I don't think it's a bad, really, really bad. I don't think there's like death or anything. I, I feel like, I mean, I suppose there could be, but I don't think it is. I think it's somebody, you know, changing homes, whatever that means. Anyhow, I do feel like we have an individual that has been thinking about going someplace else. They've been wondering if it's worth it. They've been thinking about what they need to do. They may have been saving money. They may have been planning. Um, they may have been, uh, yeah, saving money, saving money. And now they're departing, whatever that means for you. Um, they've finally got what they need to to go. And I feel like it's very sneaky, whatever this is. I feel like it's a very sneaky situation. It's bad timing as well. I think there's some bad timing here. Um, this is like dashed dreams. Somebody's dreams being dashed over a family, having a family, you know. Um, Queen of Cups reversed. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. This is somebody that is uh, cold. Very, very uh, manipulative as well. Wishy-washy, needy, hypersensitive, revengeful, um, heartbreaker. I think that you're dealing with somebody that is a heartbreaker. They don't care. They don't care about your feelings. They're probably very, very selfish. Very, very self-righteous. Um, shallow. You know, I feel like there's going to be some deep sadness as well. Deep sadness over somebody's uh, uh, lack of emotion. You know, I feel like there's definitely going to be some tears shed this month. I think you're dealing with somebody that is wicked. This person is wicked. It's like a, it's a wicked mother or a wicked mother-in-law or something like that. Um... This is like, I don't know, somebody's leaving home. They're leaving, and it feels like it's children. I feel like it's children or a child, you know, somebody's moving, and it's really, 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 really sad. It's heartbreaking, 
It is heartbreaking. And if it's not a child, it could be a partner. Or somebody's losing their home. It could be losing a home. Or somebody's moving into a new home. Or something like that. Somebody's got some money. Somebody has come up with some money. They've come up with some money. They've got some sort of opportunity. And they're taking it. And they're not even thinking about it. They're just doing it. This is somebody that is very impulsive. And they do not care who they hurt. Ten of Pentacles definitely has something to do with a home. That is a home. That is some some sort of uh, establishment. Okay, so I'm wondering if there's going to be a, a home, a physical location change. You know, somebody's changing their location. I feel like there's some sort of long-term family matters that where there's going to be a change. It's definitely all of a sudden a ch sudden change in the home or the living environment. Somebody may be uh, acquiring a home. Maybe they're getting an inheritance or um, they got some money from an inheritance or they got a big job or they got some big money or they married into money or they got some sort of money that has allowed them to purchase something and now they're um I feel like they're doing something vindictive. I do feel like there's vindictiveness here, which is crazy. I feel like you got somebody here that is very shallow. They are mean spirited, they are heartless and it feels like they're um trying to mess with somebody's home life. You know what I mean? Um Somebody is purchasing a new home as well. So I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. And that could be the sad. That could be the sadness. That could be the sadness. A new home or they're getting, they're moving somewhere. I don't know. That's what it feels like. And that could be, that could be part of the sadness. Um, unprepared, making a poor judgment call is causing a loss of a relationship. We have the end of a relationship here. We do. We absolutely do. Whether it's with a partner or with children. Okay? Um, somebody could be moving a far away. You know, moving a great distance or something. And I don't even need to, to see that. But I don't need to see that card. I feel it. We got the temperance card in reverse on the bottom. This is... Um, something is off. There's a need to re-examine. There's something that isn't right. There's somebody that um, is going to some sort of extremes. This person is frustrated. They're all over the place. And I think that you're going to have a hard time accepting whatever is happening. Okay, this is going to be hard to accept when you get the temperance in reverse. It's, that's something that is hard to accept. There's going to be a conflict. I think there's some sort of competing interests here. There's there's somebody that is hostile around you. This person has mood swings. They're emotionally unstable, whether this is you or them. We have somebody here that is emotionally unstable. They're very inconsistent. They're, and I feel like... Um, it feels like they're about to go down. They're about to they're about to go down in some way. They're about to be taken down. However that means for you with that fool card reversed. It's like uh they're headed for a fall. Somebody is headed for a fall. They've made a poor judgment call. And I don't know if this poor judgment call with is with somebody that they got into a relationship with. Somebody may have gotten into a relationship with somebody that they shouldn't have, you know, and now there's revengeful behavior as well. So just be prepared. It doesn't look good. Okay. I feel like you are going to be blessed, but before you are blessed with happiness and peace, you're going to be going through some sort of painful situation because the three of swords hurts the most. Okay. That hurts. This really, really hurts. So I feel somebody may have been saving up money to to move or saving up money to uh, take something, you know, to take something from you or whatever. Or they were just using you or something like that. Anyhow, um, I do see sadness here. I see sadness. I te see tears. I see being freed from some sort of obligation, whether it's parental obligation or 
you know, the house, you know, something to do with the, where you live. There is definitely a woman here that is taking control. She is taking the power. She has the opportunity. She's taking it. So we have a woman, not a man, that is taking something. Um, and she is, she's moving towards, 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 uh, uh, some sort of stability. She's moving towards some sort of permanent, uh, situation with it, where it's long term. She's moving into some sort of long term contract or home or something like that. Somebody may, uh, it's something to do with kids, I believe. It's like taking the kid or the kids or something like that and moving um if you are an older person and you are watching this i'm not sure if you're dealing with a sibling you know and this sibling is is going away you know um because i do feel feel like it has to do with siblings a separation of siblings or something like that um there's definitely going to be this is going to be hard to accept it's going to be hard to accept and this comes after a death card, so there's going. It's going to be hard to accept an ending. There's going to be a lot of memories here that are surfacing that are going to bring tears. Okay, it's going to bring tears. It's going to be sad. It's a sad separation of some sort. That's what I see. So I do apologize if this is not a big old beautiful reading, but there is a blessing that is coming after this heartache and loss. There really is. And it does have to do with uh, stability. It has to do with happiness, extreme happiness and comfort. Okay, you're going to be comfortable, but it isn't going to happen overnight. It's going to take time. And this is needing time. You're going to need time to heal. And, that, and that's the truth. Okay, you're going to need time to heal from this. Okay, healing, we will be stepping into a healing period, all right? Um, I feel like this is a family situation. It could be the loss of a family member or, I don't know, something like that. Um, and there could, or there could be a change on the home front where somebody moves and that could be the loss, you know, and it's devastating. Um, it's definitely very much all of a sudden and you will be successful you know, this is a problem, obviously. Successful outcome to your problems. Yes, it's a problem, but it's going to end successfully, okay? And you may not end in the way that you think it's going to end, but in the end, you're going to be at peace. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely family matters, okay? You're going to be dealing with family matters this month, and there could be a change on the home front or a change in your, you know, family hierarchy or whatever, um... Good luck. And don't forget to subscribe.